The race for Oklahoma's 5th Congressional District is the most competitive for that seat in decades. Republican Congressman Steve Russell and Democratic challenger Kendra Horn explained their stances on issues in their one and only debate ahead of the November general election. The pressing issues facing our nation provided the backdrop for the debate between the candidates for Oklahoma's 5th Congressional District. The gamut of questions ran from national security to the economy to health care and much more. For incumbent Republican Congressman Steve Russell, the nation's security is threatened by missiles and nefarious actors on the Internet. The biggest threats that we faced, obviously, uh, nuclear proliferation with North Korea is probably the greatest danger that could uh, wipe out human life, but I think in terms of our likely dangers, our cyber threats are extraordinarily important. We all enjoy all of our gadgets and all of our uh, freedom. We use our apps. We do all of these different things, but we shouldn't have to worry that people in Russia or Iran or China are taking your information and trying to use it for nefarious purposes. It is a policy area in which Russell's Democratic challenger, Kendra Horn, also voiced concern about cyber attacks. She also worries about the state of American politics. I agree with, with Congressman Russell that one of the biggest threats is our cyber vulnerability. When I worked in the space industry, we worked, I worked with industry, I worked with uh, administrative agencies and, uh, and contractors across the communities, including national security. One of, one of the critical components of that is our uh, satellite infrastructure and its vulnerabilities. But beyond just those threats, which are very real, I am concerned about the level of discourse. While it seems the U.S. economy is strong now, there are concerns that signs are pointing to problems ahead. Those massive profits in the stock market are great for a few people. But one of the biggest challenges to our economy is that we have this growing gap between those who have and those who don't. And this tax bill that was passed last year, which Congressman Russell supported, is a part of the same type of tax cuts that we saw here under Governor Fallon and this administration, which led to massive cuts to our education system. Russell feels the recent tax cuts and the American people are the sparks the economy needs to remain healthy. I think that we have to have faith in the American people. Equitable distribution sounds a lot like taking away the free market. Uh, we don't want to do that. I think it's also important that I voted uh, absolutely to support the JOBS Act. You know why? Because the average Oklahoman has $1,000 more in their pocket at the end of the year. The average family has $2,000 more in their pockets. And that might be crumbs to Ms. Pelosi and others, but that's not crumbs to the, daily, to the actual Oklahomans. Since President Trump was candidate Trump, Immigration has been a front and center issue. Russell has adopted children from foreign countries and believes immigration plays an important role in American life. I don't think that the Statue of Liberty should have a blindfold and a middle finger. I think that Lady Justice should have the blindfold. I also think that it's very important uh, that we have immigrants that are a part of our society. However, illegally coming into the country, that's a non-starter. While Horn is pretty much on the same page as Russell, she also fears the federal government is not treating immigrant families right. We do have a crisis, and this is a, this is a place on which Congressman Russell and I agree in large part. We have issues that need to be addressed. Our immigration system is broken in many ways due to the expense. But right now, I am incredibly troubled by the fact that we are allowing our government to use children as bargaining tools. This is the one and only debate scheduled for Russell and Horn. On November 6th, voters will decide if the incumbent will return to Congress or if Oklahoma's 5th Congressional District will send its first Democrat to Washington since the 1970s.